Consider yourself divorced. Butthole. Oh, shut up, but you face! Roundhouse! <laughs> Okay, I lost eyes on her. This is all you, Vic. Excuse me, do you have any toilet paper? Let me see if I have some. Oh, you're in luck. Here you go. Sorry. She's out, commencing the old switcheroo. Put him on. Honey. Key! I am not your honey, honey. Not anymore. And you are not my king. So, are we gonna do things the hard way? Or... You in place? Yeah, I'm at your 11 o'clock. Sorry, Central Standard Time. There you are. <laughs> wow, you look, uh, fine. You also look only fine. So your name is Cheryl? Of course my name is Cheryl. Cheryl Kernst. Interesting name. It's a family name. My grandmother was Cheryl, and her mother and her aunts, and most of her sisters, and some of her sons. Goes for all genders, really, Cheryl. Something wrong? No, it's just weird. Both the S and the H are capitalized. Yeah. Uh, that's because it's S. Harold Kernst. And the S stands for Cheryl. It stands for Cheryl. <laughs> so your name is Cheryl Harold Kernst. Yep. When we hear the sister Thanks for coming. Your message sounded pretty urgent. They asked him to do a suicide mission. And he RSVP'd Yas Queen. 60 seconds, McGruber. All right, we got this, Vic. All right, follow this down to the source. So, uh, you, uh, digging the jazz? What do you mean? I don't hear any music. <laughs> no, this, the jazz, fighting the good fight. Getting back in the game for one last dance. I do enjoy watching you play the game, <laughs> the jazz. Yeah, gotta be honest with you. Been in prison so long, a little out of practice. Excuse me? Vicky, do I have to spell it out for you? I need to do it with you. Cooper, I'm married. <laughs> the alarm, Vicky. <laughs> the alarm. All right, here. Hand me those wire cutters. You got it, McGruber. Get in here. Now let's take those fingers of yours. <laughs> and spread those wires apart very slowly. These wires? There we go. Those ones right there. Great job. Gently. There we go. And a girl. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my tool. Yeah. I'm just gonna jam it in there. 
He's gonna come inside you there. Don't worry, this is gonna be very quick. I'm almost there already. I'm about there. I'm about there, I'm about to cut it. I'm about to get it. Oh, you know I'm about to get it. You see me getting it. You're feeling me getting it. I'm about to get it. I'm about to finish. Oh, oh. Got it. Vicky, we need a distraction. On it. Okay, that worked, I guess. Now get in position for phase two, Vicky. On the groove. Vicky, do you copy? Do you copy? Do you copy? Oh, thank God. <coughs> copy. <clears throat> Sorry, I just have to clear my throat. Oh, gotcha, Vicky. Okay, look, we lost your 20, so any information you could sneak us would be a big help. <clears throat> Go on down the street. Go straight, 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 and left, 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 and straight again. Keep it down back there. Sorry, um, I get car sick if I don't sing to myself. In an American accent. Doing a great job, Vic, but can you give us anything more specific? The road's got a little bit of bump, and I thought we had some. And we hit a gravel patch, y'all. So I think it's only natural to assume we're off the main road. Gravel Road? She must have left downtown. All right, that's great, Vic. You're in silver medal territory, but we're going for the gold. Got it. <clears throat> and when you cross the train tracks and you hear that crunching metal, that's the end of the road for us. Because we stopped. I know where she is. Nice checkers. Vicky, we're on our way. Did I get you? Be honest.